Senior Vice President here at DISH. I would like to give you an update on our ongoing negotiations with Cox Media Group, the owner of this local channel. We are sorry that Cox Media Group has chosen to block this local channel on your DISH service. Our goal is to never have a channel interruption. We've been working with Cox Media Group to reach a fair agreement that would allow us to keep this programming for you. But Cox Media Group refused to allow you to view their channels while we continue to negotiate. You probably aren't aware, but Cox Media Group has a long record of blocking their channels from companies like AT&T, DirecTV, Verizon Fios, as well as cable companies like Suddenwave. Instead of continuing to negotiate without interruption, Cox Media Group leverages their go-to tactic of removing their channels from viewers. They play on your emotions to get customers like you upset in hopes that you will put pressure on DISH so we cave to their unreasonable demands. Why do they do this? Because it's an easy way to grab more cash with you in the middle. Please don't fall for their games. It is an unfortunate and shameless tactic that needs to stop. Now, let me give you some insight into what Cox Media Group is asking from DISH and ultimately you. They are demanding DISH pay significantly higher rates for the same local channel you are enjoying today. I'm sure, like me, you remember when local channels were free and watched with an over-the-air antenna. Guess what? Even today, customers can still watch free local channels like this one with a digital antenna. So you may ask, if they're free, what is this all about? Well, broadcasters like Cox Media Group found a way to make billions of dollars on these free local channels by charging cable and satellite companies to carry their free signal. What started as free has ballooned to over $14 billion today. Here's their game. Every time a contract is renewed with a cable or satellite company, broadcasters like Cox try to get customers upset by blocking channels with the goal to have these customers demand the return of their channels at any price. Folks, this is how something that is free skyrockets to $14 billion, and it's you that ultimately pays. We need to stop the madness. DISH is all about choice for our customers. We fought for years and are proud to be the only TV provider that does not require our customers to subscribe to local channels. This saves many of our customers over $100 per year. We believe in providing the choice to use an over-the-air antenna because it gives customers like you the opportunity to save money. But Cox Media Group? prefers profits over customer choice. They are trying hard to take away this freedom of choice by forcing DISH customers in their markets to pay for all local channels, even if they choose to receive them free with an over-the-air antenna. This again is shameless and just plain not fair. Our commitment is to stand up for you, our customer, and because the increase they are asking for affects you directly, we feel strongly about fighting for a fair rate to ensure you get the best possible value from DISH. Our top priority is to reach a fair agreement with Cox Media Group to bring this local channel back as quickly as possible. Now, I hope this helps you understand our point of view, and we encourage you to reach out to Cox Media Group to learn more about theirs. All their contact information and any updates on this negotiation can be found on dishpromise.com. And as always, we appreciate you as a customer, and we thank you for your patience. We will be in touch with future updates as we have them. Thank you.
I'm Kevin Cavell, Senior Vice President here at DISH. I would like to give you an update on our ongoing negotiations with Cox Media Group, the owner of this local channel. We are sorry that Cox Media Group has chosen to block this local channel on your DISH service. Our goal is to never have a channel interruption. We've been working with Cox Media Group to reach a fair agreement that would allow us to keep this programming for you. But Cox Media Group refused to allow you to view their channels while we continued to negotiate. You probably aren't aware, but Cox Media Group has a long record of blocking their channels from companies like AT&T, DirecTV, Verizon Fios, as well as cable companies like Suddenly. Instead of